What's up guys, this is Nick and we're back with another episode of Virtual Tailgate. Today we're in Marganza. I got my man Ellis here. <laughs> All right, and what we're doing is we're gonna boil some crawfish. What, right Ellis? What are we boiling today? Crawfish. Okay. All right, hey, stay with us guys. We're gonna show you a few tips that we learned along the way. Main thing is don't salt those crawfish beforehand because what you're gonna do is kill them. And what happens? They're straight. Hey, Ellis, do you eat the straight ones? Uh. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Okay, I am really not one for the purging method in the sense that I'm gonna pour salt all over these crawfish and they're gonna throw up and you know get rid of all the things in the inside air tract. I don't believe in all that. But what I do believe in is very clean crawfish. So what you're gonna do is run this water over those crawfish until they the water runs clear. Uh, so get whatever you gotta get. Um, dirty crawfish aren't necessarily bad crawfish. Um, <clears throat> probably means they haven't been graded, but uh, look, doesn't matter. Um, get those things clean, let the water run clear. What do the sides do, right? Uh, potatoes, you gotta cook the potatoes, they're going to absorb. Onions, they're gonna flavor. So onions go in first, potatoes go in first because they need that cook time. The sausage is already cooked, so you just need to cook it through. So sausage, corn, was in last. Once you cut the fire off, sausage corn. And it's and it should come out just perfectly sitting in that very hot water for 30 minutes. And then once, put the crawfish in, and then once it comes back up to a boil, shut it down. 30 minutes is my method. Uh, that, that's what works for us. Of course, you gotta put those potatoes in before the boil. You know, maybe put the potatoes in at the beginning, bring it up to a little boil. But once those crawfish goes in, it'll go down. The water temperature will go down. Bring it back up to a boil, cut it. Uh, and let it soak for as long as you can take it.
Got June here with me. Um, we didn't boil two sacks. I would always mess the first one up and like I can get it right on the second one. There was a time where I was like, well, why don't I get the first one? Right, hey, so that would make sense. Yeah. That would make more sense, I think. Not ten, I believe you. But you know what, though, we did use that new fire, Louisiana fire, um, and that probably added to the spice. The fire. Um, the fire on my lips, probably. Yes. I want judging. Is are they too spicy to eat? If you're sucking the head, you have to suck the juice. Um, so you can get away with a little less soak time. Um, if you're soaking, sucking the juice out because that'll sometimes give you the spice you're missing. But what I generally try to do and what I found it works best for us and how I like them the best is when you first sack, you start with one and a half bags of the 4.5 pound. You can use Pro Boil if you want. We use Louisiana Fire this time, brand new. First time. Ish. Um, I like those. I like those. It kicked it up pretty good. And, um. And I'm Papa. Ow! <laughs> and, and I'm Papa. Um, so. Small head. <laughs> <laughs> that tended to work for me. Look, and the, and the cook time. The cook time is if you do, um. You bring it up to the boil, put your potatoes, bring your water up to a boil, and then, then you put your crawfish in. And then you try to bring it back up to a boil and shut it down as soon as it boils. 30 minutes. That should be good. Hey, remember, every day, every day is game day. Every day is game day. How do you virtual tailgate?